Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm excited to be back in the kitchen today making another incredible and delicious pate show dessert recipe for you guys. I'll be making my chocolate caramel almond patty breast. This dessert is absolutely incredible. We're gonna start with a chocolate pate show dough. We're going to make my caramel French buttercream as a filling using my homemade caramel sauce and my French buttercream recipe. We're gonna add some crushed almond roca pieces and we're going to top this dessert off with a really special ingredient, gold leaf. It's gonna take this dessert to a whole new level. Let's get started on our pate show dough. So into a small saucepan, I'm going to add in one cup of water, half a cup of unsalted butter, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to let this cook over medium high heat until that butter is completely melted and the mixture comes up to a simmer. All right, this mixture is looking great. Time to add our dry ingredients. I have a quarter cup of dark cocoa powder. Stir that in, make sure it gets completely dissolved, and then we'll add in one cup of all-purpose flour. Once you add in the flour, cook the mixture for about 30 seconds to a minute until a soft dough ball forms and it starts to pull away from the sides of the pan. Allow the dough to cool until it's just lukewarm and then it's time to add the eggs. I have four large eggs. I'm going to add one at a time and give it a good mix after each addition. And last egg going in. And then I'm going to transfer my dough into a pastry bag. Now I've tipped mine today with a large star tip. You could also do a plain round tip. Pack it in there so you don't have any air pockets. I've lined my baking sheet with a silicone mat. You can also use parchment paper. And now I'm just going to pipe the dough in medium sized rings. And I have some extra dough that I'm going to make some eclairs with, or you can make some cream puffs. And my pate show is ready to go into the oven. I have mine preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. They're going to bake at that temperature for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to turn the oven tub down to 350, let them bake for another 38 to 40 minutes. And then once they're done, I'm going to take them out, let them cool on a wire rack completely. While these are baking, do not open that oven door. Otherwise, they will fall flat. I have my pastry shells all cooled and now I'm going to get started on my caramel French buttercream filling. Now I prepped a batch of my homemade caramel sauce last night and just let it cool overnight. Now I'm ready to use it for this recipe. If you don't have the time to make your own caramel sauce, you could use a store-bought version or you can also use some dolce de leche. For the French buttercream, I'm going to start with the sugar syrup. I'm going to pour one third cup of water into a small saucepan and add one cup of white granulated sugar. I've attached my candy thermometer to my saucepan and it needs to reach 238 degrees Fahrenheit. While I'm waiting for my sugar syrup, I'm going to place five large egg whites into my stand mixer bowl and I'm going to whisk these on high speed just for a few minutes until they're thick and pale. And once the syrup is ready, I'm going to pour it in a slow and steady stream with my mixer on medium speed. Once you add in all the sugar syrup, you'll want to keep whisking the yolks and the sugar uh, syrup for about seven to eight minutes. You want the mixture to cool down significantly. It should only be uh, lukewarm and it'll thicken up into this nice, thick, pale mixture. And now I'm ready to add my butter. I have two cups of softened butter, unsalted butter. I'm going to add just a couple tablespoons at a time and keep this frosting mixing at a medium speed until all that butter is added. I've added in all of my butter and this buttercream filling is looking amazing. I'm just gonna scrape down the sides of this mixing bowl and then turn this mixer up to high speed and let this butter whisk for a couple minutes. Next, I'll add in half a cup of my homemade caramel sauce and half a teaspoon of almond extract. Mix this all together. I 
I transferred my filling into a pastry bag and today I'm using tip number four FT. Going to pipe the bottom shells generously full of the cream. Going to drizzle some of that caramel sauce over each piece. Add some crushed almond roca candy pieces in here. And then I'll grab the top half, pipe that full of cream as well, and sandwich these together. Don't these look absolutely stunning? And I love how the gold leaf turned out on top. Uh, to cut these, just use a sharp serrated knife. Now, I didn't refrigerate these, but I do recommend placing them in the fridge for at least 30 minutes to allow that filling to kind of set up a little bit because it is fairly soft. Check that out. That looks so good. I can't wait to dig in and enjoy this. These mini chocolate putty breast pastries turned out absolutely stunning. I love the combination of that gold leaf on top, the crumbled candy. Time to dig in and enjoy these. Now, my husband has already taste tested them even before I did, and his verdict was amazing. So, time for me to dig in and have a bite. These look so good. Probably better eaten with a fork, maybe. Mmm. Wow, I am loving everything about this incredible dessert. Guys, this is just over the top. So, so good, it's not too sweet. That caramel French buttercream filling is so silky smooth, absolutely incredible. And then you get the little crunchy bits of the almond roca and the almonds. And then I love that chocolate pate chaud dough. It has no sugar in it, so it really balances all the flavors out here. Absolutely incredible. If you're looking for a unique and delicious dessert to try out, this is the one. Head down into my video description box for all the recipe details. Hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you next time.